how uncommon or how common is is what's playing out in Makati in in other you know fam not just local politics but family politics well fairly common ano in terms of clan ah eh, not really yung immediate family mm. pero kahit immediate family we have we have those uh, cases in the past mga Osmeña ng mm. ng Cebu mm. is one prime example ano? mm. yung madi ngayon ng Isabela and, and how would a typical i mean we how would a typical clan behave na ahead of ahead of the elections may may clan meeting at at you're literally apportioning o oh, sayo ikaw sa kongreso ikaw sa mayor ikaw konsihal ay how how do they yeah, 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 it, yeah it's an interplay nga of, of of a lot of things like for instance here it's it's it depends on your incentive if your your goal is to carve out something new hmm. then you'll be more aggressive then you'll be more uh you'll be more uh, insistent no on what you want no uh, whereas if you just want to maintain the status quo or <coughs> retain what you have already let's say a jurisdiction or akin ito mm -hmm. no territorio ko to dito la lang uh, ito sa iyo respetuhin natin then you can see that there's already a an agreement or a modus vivendi among themselves mm -hmm. no oh dito na lang sige status quo tayo now it's also a fact yung what for instance what happened in Makati there's also uh, uh, a play of let's say extracting accountability no? because i think right now no uh, there's an attempt by certain individuals or groups no, to push back no, on, on that uh, demand for accountability because uh, right now uh, it's sad no, but both siblings are being pitted against each other mm. but if you look behind it uh, a lot of those supporting either one group or another are in opposing camps whether to push for accountability mm. of uh, past uh, mm. past uh, uh, cases of June, June, of June, June, mm. and the others are really for demanding accountability. So, yeah. ito yon eh, nilalaro na eh, nilalaro na lahat. And it happens not only in in getting resources, but even in again, as I mentioned, accountability para umiwas no sa ginawa ng nakaraan. Won't you expect the, the patriarch to step in and uh, mm. and you know and the and apportion There's if a that's the right word uh, apportion uh, mm. uh, positions uh, like for example uh, in in Maguindanao uh, before and Dal Senior was the one who uh, who who ruled over the the Ambatuan clan and everybody just obeyed him when he died uh, naghati hati sila some went with the LP uh, some Ambatuans with the LP some Ambatuans with the, went with the opposition uh, so nag fracture talaga. I, I would have thought that uh, the patriarch would have a major role here. Well, yes, Wally. Uh, in terms of historical development of a dynasty, the first and second is usually intact. Because it's still alive, usually, the patriarch or matriarch, mm. depending on the place. When it comes to the third generation, it starts. Because it's assertive here, usually, the children who have no walang pagtingin do sa nangyari. Mm -hmm. Tingin nyo na, iba na yung kasaysayan, iba na yung... Less yung, traditionalist. Yung, uh, oh. yeah, yeah, the only, you only, I mean, at this point in time, with mm -hmm. that particular example, all you have to do is imagine if if uh, mm -hmm. if Vice President Binay is not in the picture. Mm -hmm. I mean, this would be really chaotic. Yes. Yeah. But even if uh, he is, uh, well, the last uh, news was that he would have yeah. made it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it, it would seem that mm. the problem has reached a point of no solution. Mm. And the best yeah. way to do is to do nothing at all. Power, After all, yeah. whoever wins will be mm. from his family. <laughs> be nice. yes, yeah. Assuming there's no right. third party. Yeah, but that's my point. What if there was a third party? Isn't this an opening for a third party to say, oh, mag mag yeah, ang yeah, binay. maybe this is our best time? It, it's possible to, to shake down, let's say, for instance, if there's a monopoly in power, no? a third party party or a third event <coughs> could be introduced no? mm. uh, to shake up the whole thing. No? And you see a breakdown in monopoly over power or over uh, seats. No? This happened probably uh, during the time when Quarry appointed OICs. No? Mm. You see an entrance of new uh, politicians, no? and which unfortunately became a new base for traditional yeah. politicians. Mm. No? So again, power knows no vacuum.